Today's series of Doplex scale interviews, we have with us Dr. Binayak Sinha. He's a leading endocrinologist with more than 20 years of experience. He's presently associated with the Fortis Hospital in Kolkata. Dr. Sinha has been actively involved in research with special interest in diabetes and reproductive endocrinology. He's a member of Royal College of Physicians Diabetes UK and Research Society for Study of Diabetes in India. He has been facilitated with a Young Scientist Award at the International Congress on Hormonal Steroids and Hormones in Cancer in Japan and Dr. A.C. Ukil Memorial Oration 2007 at the Army National Congress. Thank you, Doctor, for this interview. Thank you. So let's begin with the first question. Uh, can obesity and type 2 diabetes risk be reduced through lifestyle interventions? Uh, probably the only way of reducing the risk of obesity and diabetes is by reducing lifestyle, uh, you, uh, making, taking lifestyle measures. You know, uh, I think I always tell my patients that uh, there are two ways of putting on weight. And one is eating more, too much and the other is eating and exercising too little. So, you know, if you get in for a good lifestyle and eat less, eat the right kind of food, avoiding sweets, sugars, and fried food, and taking some exercise, plenty of exercise if you wish, you definitely will manage to lose weight, and that will definitely prevent lifestyle diseases. Right. Uh, so moving on to the next one. Uh, can you please elaborate uh, the link between PCOS, insulin resistance, and diabetes? OK. Uh, Pandora's box, very difficult question, actually. Um, there has been a lot of research which has suggested that uh, insulin resistance is part of PCOS. And it is the basis of which, on which PCOS starts. Um, even people who are not uh, non-obese PCOS, PCOS can be of two types, people who are fat and people who are not so fat. So in the non-obese PCOS, even they seem to be having a lot of insulin resistance. But the flip side of this is, whether insulin resistance causes the PCOS or whether PCOS causes the insulin resistance. And this is an area of research which has been perplexing researchers all over the world. And this continues to be a source of uh, major issues. Whether it is the fat which is producing the androgens or whether the androgens is... So it's, it's a vicious cycle that is there. And of course, a few features of PCOS like weight gain and insulin resistance and the other features that come with it, you know, I think it's a milieu, it's a syndrome. That's why it's called a syndrome. Okay. Uh, so my next question would be, do you think that women with PCOS should always go for diabetes screening? Uh, when we took our exams, you know, we used to have multiple choice questions and there's the standard thing, always is always false. Oh. But this is one instance where always is always true. true, okay? So somebody who has PCOS has a very high risk of diabetes, and even when they are young, one of the basic tests is to make sure that they don't have, uh, don't have diabetes. Right. I would always test them for okay. diabetes. Right. Uh, so what are the current treatment options for gestational diabetes? Well, uh, the, the gestational diabetes you treat with insulin. There are various types of insulin that you can use. In rare case scenarios, there are two drugs which are uh, approved for use. Not really approved, you can use them. Okay. One is metformin and the other is uh, sulfonylureas. Uh, but, you know, IDF, the organization which looks after, uh, which, which is more interested in diabetes in the developing countries, actually suggests that you use it in uh, situations where there's a resource shortage, where you, there's a monetary shortage or a lack of availability of insulin which I think is there in a lot of parts of Africa, uh, you, you can use uh, sulfonylureas or metformin. Other than that, I would say as a uh, message, insulin, mm -hmm. insulin, and insulin. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you.